we receive quite of questions from the users that how to use the Postman, how to use Amadil for developer collections. Let's go through, this is super simple. So this is uh, our Amadil for developer documentations. And if you go to the developer tools, we have a uh, Postman collections here. You need to follow this step and let me quickly show you. So here, what you need is to click the public workspace which is direct to the Amadeus for Developers Postman collections. So in the Postman, you need to remember one thing, that there is a concept of workspace. So here, now we're in the workspace of Amadeus for Developers. You need to use this in your own workspace. So what we are going to do is we're going to fork this to your workspace. So how to do is you click this, and the create a fork, and let's fork lab it. Okay, initial fork. And workspace is, yes, I'm gonna fork to my workspace. So fork it. So now, as you can see, it will be redirect to your own workspace. And you have it fork it, and all the category and the API is available here. But in order to start using it, yes, now we need to put the, our Amadeus for Developer API keys, right? But how to do? You also need to fork the environment. So in order to fork the environment, let's go back to Amadeus for Developer workspace. So here we are. We are again in the Amadeus for Developer workspace. And if you go to environment, there is an environment space also. This is what you need also need to fork it. So we are going to fork again, initial fork, and we are going to fork it in our or workspace, fork environment, and it will redirect to your workspace again. And now you can see environment is forked it too, and collection is there. So now what you need is put your API key in the environment. So let me quickly come back once I copy and paste. So here you are. What I did is I copy and paste my ID and secret here in the current value. And then I just changed the secret just to hide it. So here, what you need is save. So you saved it and you go back to the collections and now we're gonna try to shoot the APIs. But before you shoot the API, you need to make sure that you select the environment that you just set. Remember environment, we already put our API keys. So here, now we have select the um, environment to use. So let's try to authorize. So here, access grant client credential. So what we need is to send here. Now we got authorized. And now you can try to search, for example, flight over search. You're searching the flight from Sydney to Bangkok, and now you're getting the response. So don't forget, all the APIs here are in the test environment, as you can see in the test URL. And if you want to change to the productions, this is my uh, personal tip that in the environment, I have uh, two environments, one for test and one for production, because the key is different. So whenever I try production, I change the environment here, and then I change the URL here to show it. That's it. That's how you use. Postman is a very simple tool and so convenient to use and call the API without a single line of code. So feel free to use it. Thank you.